Uh, so, my name is uh, uh, Ada. Uh, I'm a nomadic artist and theater maker from St. Petersburg, Russia. I direct and initiate uh, social engaged theater projects in different countries and between different countries. Um, and my favorite part of this work is to uh, hear questions and to ask questions. So, and most of them are really awkward, strange, uh, clumsy questions because they come from the outsider. They do not fit into the context and that's why they bring a new perspective to it. Uh, so, for example, when I lived in London, I heard a lot from uh, art people there uh, a word risk and that the artist should be risk taking. And uh, for me, uh, that was a really strange thing because I thought, what, what does exactly that mean? It could mean different things in different countries. For example, in the UK, it could be a risk of an, somebody from the audience choking on a cookie if you give them during the performance. Or in Russia or Poland, there could be some right, uh, far right activist or police coming during the performance to interrupt it. Hmm, another risk. So that's how the idea of my Risk Lab performance was born to um, explore what risk can mean in different countries. So uh, I invited to different artists from countries like Syria or India to join me online during live performance in London. And through the, our dialogue and our critical questions to investigate this uh, real idea of risk, and also invite the audience to participate in our discussion, uh, to make decisions, to ask other questions, and to be uh, engaged in this uh, more uh, deeper understanding of what risk actually means. In another uh, project, um, it was another, I started with another question. So the locker room talk started with a question, uh, what if we explore male sexist texts through female bodies? That's how the red swimwear jumped into the game. So uh, I brought this game, uh, this play, uh, Locker Room Talk from Scotland to Russia, and I was asked several times by local people, why do you bring a Scottish play to Russia? Can't you just use a local material? Uh, is it not a little bit too colonial to bring something, some play from West to Russia? And then I thought, okay, if we would have at least one pro-feminist playwright in Russia who would be interested to write a play about sexist language, I would definitely would use that, but, you know, so we use whatever we have. Uh, and with the choreographer Daria Yurichuk and the dramaturg Olga Tarakanova and a female team only, we tried to uh, explore this uh, sexist language for our bodies and our feelings and trying to um, create a different effective knowledge about gender. Um, through our rehearsals, we felt more emancipated and even during the performance, two of our members uh, made a real coming out on stage about their transgender uh, transition, which put even more questions about what gender is. Uh, and our audience was invited in some sort of performative conference where we shared our artistic research uh, about um, this topic. Uh, through the dances, uh, through uh, verbatim rap, uh, through different kinds of media, also foreign theater, we invited the audience to participate uh, in uh, and engage with uh, what we can do about everyday sexist uh, language. Um, in the end, we invite all of the audience to come on stage and to share their emotions in one of the tables and to ask more questions in another. And, um, and this is my favorite part, is I said questions, an exchange uh, of the questions. So what kind of questions will I bring with me to Russia from America, from my art residency? Would it be a question that uh, I got from the Russian political refugee that I met in a um, detention center in the US-Mexican border? He asked me if I can be his sponsor, so he could not be there at the detention center and tr uh, wait for the trial on in the city, not in the detention center? Or would it be maybe the question of a uh, taxi driver? He asked me if I'm an artist from Russia, if I'm still under surveillance when I'm here? Or would it be a question of my American host, Farah Karapetyan, uh, who asked me, and who has a question, if she as a female artist in America presents her work, which is in a big science, the review says it is an ambitious work, 
And if this the same size of work would be presented by the male American artist, it would be called monumental. So maybe we have more questions in common than we think when we work in transcultural collaborations. Thank you.